Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're finally starting our Dark Souls remastered playthrough. My eyes are red. I've been crying. <sighs> I'm gonna I, I'm gonna say this again because this is gonna be the start of the Dark Souls video. Uh, I know that Total Biscuits passing yesterday had a significant impact on a huge number of people. Um, and so I, I fully expect a lot of your favorite content creators are going to be a little emotional here and there. I certainly just, <laughs> I just tried to go live at the start of this and just got real, got real emotional with all the wonderful people in chat talking about Total Biscuit, how great he was. And what now we're going to do is we're going to play through Dark Souls. <laughs> Why? Oh, God. Oh, I'm really excited to do this, though. Um, don't mind me if two things occur throughout this. One, if I just focus on the game and focus on my job. Because you know it is my duty to talk about and play through games. I know a lot of people tune into this as a form of regular entertainment. And honestly, a lot of people tune in as a regular form of support. That we just kind of have a nice, pleasant place to play games. In no way is this any deliberate disrespect to any of the events that happened. Um, this is simply me trying to do my job. Uh, the second thing is that um, I may just literally get emotional randomly throughout the day. That's it. That's it. Alright, so uh, we changed the brightness settings up. We changed... I'm just going to make sure that there's no other things that are... Yeah, it's all fine. All right, we're doing a new game. We're doing a new game. We got our cat. We got our therapy cat here. All right. Good. Dude. Oh my gosh. All right. This is all fine. This is all fine. Look, this is this is a cup of water. Isn't that insane? You know what? I'll just be good old day nine today. I'm also going to turn this music down a touch. Just a pinch. Just 5%. Hi, Despy. Alright. My sex is male. I don't know if I've ever played as a female in any of the games that I've ever played. Unless it was like, you know, Tomb Raider, where you did not have a customized character at the start. You're actually playing a creative character. Whew. I'm going to talk more about the game once we get into the game. Um, for now, let's just create a character, man. Class. I think I... Do I want to look high HP, solid armor, not easily toppled? I think I just play as a warrior in this. Despy. Even with everything going on, Despy's still a bad cat. She still tries to chew on headphones. Yeah, lie down there. Let me move these cables. Let me move this sock. That's not a toy. Guilt-ridden thief. High critical hits. Stop that. Bandit. Savage bandit. High strength. Wields a heavy battle axe. Um, I'm not interested in doing any of these bottom ones. Ooh, oh my god. Ooh, dad booty, look at this. This is kind of, I want to look like this, man. Except for the no hair part, man. We're getting a hair transplant. I'm not going to do the easy mode. We're not going to do it. I think, I think I'm just warrioring. I think this, this tunes well with my just general play style. Uh, let's see, what do we want? I think, I think I'm gonna go for the Tiny Being's ring, man. Binoculars. This music is way better. I think the Master Key is, uh... I think this is actually the best one, I think. I'm just gonna do the Tiny Being's ring, man, though. I like this. Large upper body. My average man? 
I think I think I'm just gonna go with top heavy, man. Face. <laughs> oh my god, there's there's one happy person in all of this. Is it you, Despi? Are you a happy cat? Alright. Ooh, I kinda like the Far East Traveler. Of almond eyes and thin lips. Yes. Air receding. Uh-oh. Well, too real. Too real, right? We're doing it. I think I accidentally made Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Alright, I gotta turn this down just a little bit more even. That music is beautiful, but that music is loud, dude. Despy, you are being such a pain in the ass. Right, I'm gonna move my mouse way off here. Alright, not at 100% volume. We're gonna go to 18. We're gonna go to 18%. Look at this. All right. I think, I think my hair is my hair is dark brown. My hair is dark brown. I can't I can't actually be Ryan Reynolds though. That feels like so weird. It looks more like me. I'm I'm we're we're going Ryan Reynolds, man. That's too good. Customize face, confirm character. Did it just get louder? I'm going to... We're going to start the game. We're going to see if the volume gets better as time goes on. But we're going to watch this intro. Tell me about dragons. The age of ancients. That is so quiet. The world was unformed. Shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, mm. and everlasting dragons. Mm. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. I have watched every single video about the analysis of Dark Souls. Heat and cold. Life and death. And of course, light and dark. Oh, it's so good. Oof. Then from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Oh yeah, Nito. Nito, the first of the day. God, that looks so good. What a remaster. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy. So easily forgotten. Furtive Pygmy is the most Magic the Gathering card name I've ever heard. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. The music's way louder than the voice in this thus far. Gwyn's mighty lords build apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nights. And a 
amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Hmm. What an intro. I have so much to say about this game. Where'd the audio go? What? The dark sign brands the undead. Oh. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Led to the north? Let's do it. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Yes. Yes. Dude. It looks so good. It looks so good. It this looks so good. Is your fate. Fate nine, baby. Borg leader, happy eighty four months. One of the 20 oldest subscribers on all of Twitch. Hmm. Dallas soon is it's funny, his first Dark Souls 1 playthrough is one I sub. Oh my god, the, the, oh, look at how smooth this is. Look at how nice this is. Look at me. Look at me, I'm all undead and whatnot. Well, first of all, let me just say, hey, to all the sacral subs, good to have the 42nd joining us today, man. Mwah. Thank you for the host, Sacral. Much appreciated, much love. I am going to do just a few things. Just a few things. We're going to go to the menu. And we're going to do some... Is it under options? How do we... Yeah, we better. We better. Oh my gosh, this is so excellent. Okay, I'm actually... Okay, listen. I need water. I need coffee. I know that this is like literally the worst time to do this, but I don't care because I have way too much to say. I have way too much to say. Chair souls. This chair was the dark souls of supportive seating equipment. Hmm. So, there's so much that I want to talk about with dark souls. Um, and I'm going to be talking about this throughout. Um, but I want to begin by just framing what I think is beautiful about this game. Where, um, one of the most influential things that I've ever heard in my entire life, especially when it comes to creative work, is that often you are at a juncture in your design or in your creation where you're not sure whether to do A or to do B. And if you've ever been in a design conversation with designers or just in a group project where you're working on something, this is where arguments begin. I think we should do A because of this. Well, no, we should do B because of this. And here's the nugget that John Hodgson at Blizzard Entertainment told me. He said, it's important to recognize when that is a deliberation about what the better option is. But a huge percentage of times, there's a good game if you go down A, there's a good game if you go down B. What's important is to understand that you're simply making a choice. And to commit to that so that you wind up with a game that has lots of consistent choices in the same direction. Really simple example, do we want to make a romantic comedy? Do we want to make an action movie? You can make good movies in each of those. You have to make a choice about which one you want to commit to. 
So if you think about Dark Souls when it emerged in, I guess it was 2011, I want to say, when Dark Souls came out. This was during a time when there was a lot of smoothness that was being explored in games. You have a mobile game that someone who's never played games before is going to play. You had simple things like Angry Birds, things like this. Um, and mobile was starting to explode and people were like, wow, if we make things more accessible, maybe we can get more audience members in, which is great, which is completely fine. Nothing wrong with that. AAA games, um, you know, people were joking about some of the, uh, you know, AAA titles being so unbelievably railroaded and so non-punitive that you are essentially experiencing a story rather than having a difficult time um, or trying to overcome a challenge. What's amazing about Dark Souls is it goes down this directional extreme of creating an extraordinarily challenging experience. Creating a game that is unbelievably um, mysterious in its storytelling. Everything's obfuscated. Everything doesn't help the player. Like, just think about all these design choices. There will never be a map in this game. And it is a complex, crazy, gnarled world. The very first enemies you see can kill you, and you are expected to die a lot. Save points are few and far between. Um, you are given essentially no direction, there's no objectives. It's completely vague as to what you're supposed to be doing. Even the menus that show what items do and don't do are completely weird and confusing and hard to go through, right? Like, items don't tell you what they do. They just sort of have a vague description. Um, there's no clear storytelling in the game. It's all very environmental and atmospheric. And there's these analysis videos that uh, explain it in great detail because the game really doesn't. You can't pause, right? I can keep going and listing off all these qualities of the game. And when I first played Dark Souls, I didn't get it. It was, it was actually so far down one direction that I, I didn't get it. I was like, this game is stupid. It's way too hard. Oh my gosh, it's so... Uh. And now... This is probably one of my five favorite games of all time. So as I'm going through this, I want to talk about what are choices that are really clever, that are really resonant um, with its actual design. I'm not going to go into the story as much. I'm just going to talk about the design aspects. But first of all, we're in the tutorial zone, right? In this tutorial zone, it's going to tell us what to do, but it's going to do so in a way that is very different from other games. Right, so first of all, the button on the screen, Pillage Corpse, right? Dungeon Cell Key, all right, that's fine. We're opening things, use Dungeon Cell Key. But like these, so th th this is like very typical, um, you know, tutorial area. You have to experience and learn about what the controls are. And so it does this by having a direct hallway where you have to walk on top of these things. But like, these little red markers are used throughout the game. Attack. Um, there's also things that it begins to introduce you to right away. Like the fact that there's not music almost ever. Atmospherically, it creates this sharp sense of loneliness. Not just loneliness in terms of the audio, but also loneliness in terms of... No supporting map, no supporting... There's not, you know... This is an Ocarina of Time, we don't have a fairy. That's just telling us what to do at all points in the game. And little things like this, like seeing... These odd ghostly beings that are here, like... What the hell is that? Oh yeah, oh yes. Hello! some of these souls of the undead here. Yeah. I'm actually going to increase the brightness a little bit because I'm a high gamma pro gamer, man. Oops, still in the options menu. And here is where we're going to be talking so much about the level design in this, right? Because we've just got through this. I think that Dark Souls 1 maybe has the best level design of any game ever. I'm actually going to pull myself a little bit over so you guys can see how many souls we have in this. Ah! Mouse and keyboard controls, LaMeo. Rested bonfire, recover HP. Our very first save point. A thing of beauty. Ah. 
so, so, um, I'm gonna talk so much more about the level design once we get to the proper world, once we're out of the, uh, tutorial zone. Um, but there's this remarkable lack of guidance in certain areas compared to other titles. But it does it in, like, really subtle ways, particularly with lighting and, as Disney creators would call it, the weenie. There's a concept that the Imagineers at Disney talk about and have actually written great articles about. Um, about how do you guide someone in a space to go somewhere, particularly with the theme park design uh, from Disney. So they'll create some sort of object of interest in order to point you in a certain direction to get you to actually navigate through the park, which is doesn't take up a lot of space, but by guiding you through, you just get this crazy sense of space and depth there. So, I mean, the fact that this door, you know, very simply, is not just the only door here, but it's it's brightly lit. The sun's coming through from this hole in the sky. And then we get our very first moment of real Dark Souls. Ah! Go through. So, already, like, th this is maybe my fourth playing of the start of this game. Amazingly, I've never beaten Dark Souls. I've gotten uh, a, a, a midways deep through this, but I've never actually properly played through the game. But, you know, that's sort of like, ah, ah, ah. That sort of holy shit moment, I'm going to talk about a lot. And in fact, we're going to be talking about it right now. Um, <clears throat> in, um, actually, I'm going to talk about it when we get to the main world. Remind me to talk about the level design of the main world. Uh, let's just stress how many holy shit kind of moments there are here. Village the corpse, heater shield, da 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 da. Alright, equip the heater shield. Read message. Oh, look, open and change the equipment. Oh, look, guard. Come here, hello. That's where I get my real sword. Yeah, get that long sword, baby. Change weapons. Ooh, look at me. Look at me now. It's amazing, like, oh gosh. My friend Tristan, who 50% of everything I say is me regurgitating things from Tristan. This is why I'm ever able to sound smart, is because of that very actually smart man. He's patient zero. He bites into my neck, and I'm like, oh, I have interesting thoughts about media. That was a vampire zombie. I couldn't decide what sort of creature it was. It's fine, doesn't matter. When, when he was talking to me about this game, the first time I played and I didn't get it, he stressed something that, like, I just love so much. I said, do the later parts of the game get easier? And he said, um, it doesn't, but you're so much better at the game. And it's so crazy to feel that. Like, I died several times in my first Dark Souls playthrough. Backstep. Oh, yeah. I actually, I never use this move, ever. Never do I ever. So this is one of the first moments that, like, I think is just cool in the game. The fact that you can work your way back to a place you've already been before. Again, I'm going to save a lot of these conversations for... Save a lot of these conversations for later. Come on. I know too much. Again, this is a holy shit moment where ordinarily that boulder just rolls down and consumes you. <laughs> you just get hit. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. Yeah, hit me with you it. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? I will. I will. Uh, well, let's definitely hear the guy out. But I want to stress again this idea of resonance. In this conversation, it doesn't uh, go to a cutscene. There, it doesn't go to a different screen like in Mass Effect when you have a conversation. 
it is the exact same um, mode of observation and participation as just in fighting. Like, I can literally move around as it has this what's your decision thing. It really, really keeps you embedded in every moment of the game. There's really no cutscenes in this game. There's like four or something like that. I have failed in my mission, but perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family, Thou who art undead art chosen, and thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know, and I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, yep, one give more me, thing. Ship me that key, baby. Here, take this. Yeah, take this. An Estus flask. Oh, An undead yeah. favorite. Estus for the best of us. All right. And this. Oh, and this. Oh, now yes. I must bid farewell. See ya. I hate to harm you after death. All right, nice. So I think there is a thing over here that I recall. I think you have to come back here way later in order to get that. Yeah. Here, take this Estus flask. It has five swiggies. Bring ahead, damn. All right. All right, I, I, I'm, I'm very excited for when we get to Undead Bird. I got, I, I got a whole speech, man. Oh yeah, I can wheel two-handed, like I'm ever doing that. <sighs> like, it's so weird, because this is like so... Oops. It's so much easier now that I play this game. I mean, I do have an arrow in my back, which does suck a bit. If I die to the Asylum Demon, everyone has to just unsubscribe. Like, that's... If we lose the Asylum Demon. I do want to talk about the combat at this point. Because um, there's this thing that... I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it sensitivity in a game, where take take something like um, Overwatch versus Counter-Strike. In Overwatch, you're moving a million miles an hour, you're zipping all around, all over the place, there's projectiles flying at you, you know, non-stop. But then if you compare that to Counter-Strike, you're sneaking around, and in fact, almost every corner is 0.1 seconds from someone just shooting you in the face and killing you. And so what happens is, due to the hyper-sensitive nature of the combat in Counter-Strike, suddenly boxes, their positioning, little areas, all wind up having more meaning. And this is something I think about with the Dark Souls combat, where, because, like, for instance, if I try to attack right now, uh, let me try to time this attack a little more weakly. Like, if I just start whacking at this guy, and he has his sword up, or I just, like, try to start throwing out attacks like this, I'll just get completely owned. And so, you know what it makes me do? It makes me, in the same way that I look at boxes and counter-strike really carefully and think about angles really carefully, in this game, you wind up observing really intently what's on the screen. Um... You know, something like StarCraft, I'm paying attention to a lot of gauges and a lot of the UI elements as I'm zipping around. In this game, I'm looking right at the enemy, observing every single thing that he's doing. And because it's so easy to die, and because it makes you pay attention so much, it creates this sensation of really wanting to... Oh, I wish I had the master key. It creates this sensation of really knowing and wanting to remember every little detail about the entire environment. I haven't played this game in, like, over a year. Ah! Whoops. Alright, if we die, I'm gonna be so upset. Alright. 
No problem. Alright, we're gonna have to work on my rolling. Don't unsub, don't unsub yet. Ugh, ugh. And see, I love this just like, I don't remember exactly how this guy functions, but he just watches the animations. And then you start to remember. I'm a roller in this game, man. <laughs> I don't think he has, like, any fast combo boost in the slightest. And if you're like me, and you have not really played a lot of third-person action games like this, like, when I was fighting some of these bosses in this game for the first time, I was just like, holy crap! Uh-oh. See, look at this. Look at the careful, thoughtful pullbacking. Holding the shield. You can't touch me. Everyone subscribe now. Everybody subscribe. We got through this whole area with all my talking in 30 minutes. Tops? 20 minutes? Something like that? Still don't know what that, those noises are. We saw, yeah, yeah, welcome everyone, welcome to the day nights. Oh, these subscribers. People are hyped on this, man. What am I, a speedrunner? What is this, the run? Okay, there's, there's some bird seed. Good job, go straight ahead. Thanks, thanks game. I've never played a game where I have such camaraderie with people I've never met before. Actually, wow, everyone, thank you a lot, like, People have been really generous and thoughtful with uh, subscriptions today. Thank you. Thank you a bit for that. Uh, as you know, we don't really run advertisements here. We don't really do much cluttering other things. Uh, it's pretty much just subscription is the revenue. Fear Dragon 64, happy 84 month anniversary. Oh my god. So thank you all. I encourage all of you to come hang out and chat, say hi, because that's that is the way. To get value out of that subscription. I am only worth $4 a month, but the community alone is easily worth $5. And you'll notice that combining those, it's $9, and that's that's good for the branding. 84 months, my goodness. Alright, we're out of the accordion area. Okay, so, um, I just want to note that this little microcosm essentially is everything you need to know about Dark Souls experientially. It is a game with twisting, gnarling levels that make you go up and down and climb and dodge around. If you are not used to the combat, as I wasn't, I died several times in my first Dark Souls 1 playthrough on stream because this area I thought was hard. <clears throat> the boss killed me many times, kind of taught me to look at the animations. And here, here, this... This is Dark Souls right here. It's what I'm call holy shit moments, okay? It's this moment of Only wonder. In the ancient legends, it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. The Undead Asylum in Pilgrimage. Beautiful. To the land of the ancient lords. <laughs> Would you like an uber black line? Or perhaps an Your uber dread. bird? There's a subtle promise the Dark Souls introduces to you two very quickly. Hey, <laughs> thanks Johnny Rollo for the 1576. Some mediocre for a great human person. Oh my gosh, the reassuring sound of hearing that. Oh. So good. Now, we're gonna save here. We're gonna level up. Um... I want even. Just 
just want to. I just want to hurt people. I just want to deal damage. Ten Estus flasks. Now, th this this is a remarkable moment. I think one of the most remarkable moments for me in all of gaming was like getting here, and you know, just the, the it's this beautifully faded area. It's so lonely, just the, the visuals of the ruins. And there's this promise that I didn't even realize was there, which is that anywhere that you can see, you can go to. I don't think this remains untrue at any point in the game. Anywhere you see, you can go to. And I had no idea where to go at first. Because there's this staircase down here. Um... There's this whole graveyard area back this way. That is the way that technically you're supposed to go. Uh, and I'm going I'm to show this in a moment. But here's something that I, I, I want to take actual time to discuss a little bit before I talk to this guy and find our quest. Okay, so the combat in Dark Souls is really, really hard, right? It's really, really tough. What's one of the things that this causes? It makes you feel a real sensitivity to your entire environment, to all your surroundings. It really gives you this... You know, I, I know that there's going to be, for instance, at the top of this staircase, there's going to be a guy throwing firebombs at me. There's going to be three little dudes at the front. There's going to be two around the corner. I just remember all of this. The environment starts to really stand out. But what's the payoff? What's the payoff? Um, the payoff is these... Holy cow moments that are done through very striking visuals that are contrasted with these narrow winding hallways and the interconnectivity of everything. And you're going to hear me talk about interconnectivity and verticality a lot. There's many games, you know, like if you've played Fallout New Vegas, where you'll see a, a, a broken down roller coaster. Uh, this is not the right way. You'll see a broken down roller coaster in the distance and your mind will go, what's, what's that? What happens if I go that way? Where's the stairwell down? There we go. But in this game, um, you get a mix of that, but in Fallout New Vegas, you don't really descend down and go to places like this. Where, like, I've already gone so far down. This was, if you recall in my Dark Souls playthrough, this was the first place that I went to. This is the very first thing that I did. Game lets me. And then this was the visual that I was met with. Like, holy cow, what is this place? Now, part of the reason I'm stepping here is, if I recall correctly, there's a really good sword. Somewhere in here. Is this it? Soul of a Nameless Soldier. A stock. Yeah. I don't remember if the s stock is something that I like very much. Yeah, get kicked on. See you later, alligator. And just this feeling of being somewhere new. Like, this this is where the rewards come from in this game. It's like you get to an area that's just so crazy different. And then you go up that way to Blighttown. That's actually how I entered Blighttown the first time. Where is the S-Dock in here? Was there no mostly walking last night? No, no I canceled the show. I mean, a lot of people canceled their show last night. I'm just killing some of these nameless dudes. I died here so many times and just hoarded up 20 souls at a time the first time. So, I think, if I recall correctly, the s stock is somewhere right around here. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so I'm not gonna go here. Because this is death. Anywhere you can go, you can see. So this creates a real sense of mystery and anticipation in all this. What's the stats on this thing?
Is this actually better? This gets... What's the scaling on this? This is where I'm actually just trying to determine what I actually want to equip. You don't really use the S-Doc. I was I just I just love short swords so much in this game. Let's use the S-Doc a little bit. So we're going back. So In terms of the exploration, Dark Souls has tons of soft edges, right? There, there's nothing... There's nothing that prevents you from going anywhere. Save for your own skill. And this, I, I remember the first time I played this game, this was... You know, part of my armchair criticism. I was like, it just died in Antarctica. Let's talk to our friend. Oh my god, this sword is long. Whoa, it's a long sword. This long sword is a short sword. This S Doc is where it's at, man. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. All right. Guess what? You're getting turned up. All the dialogue in this is so quiet. Well, what do we have here? It's so much better, it's you so much better. must be a new arrival. Mm. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Indeed, yes. Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let so me help good. you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. I One think we're actually going to ring both in today. The undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Maurice just kill him, steal stuff. I don't want a Maurice. I like everyone in this game. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> I love that, again, in terms of commitment and resonance, right? This game is mysterious and... In many ways, obtuse. <laughs> like, um, and all the characters thematically fit into that because no one is explaining what anything is. No one. No one's telling me anything. This guy assumes that, I are, that my character already has the knowledge. You know? Ah, your face. You're practically hollow. So me, the player, is not getting anything explained to it. Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> Ooh, what? Restoring your humanity? Mm. Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collect it bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric. So he's kind of explaining summoned. some stuff. But, like, and again, it's very... Way. It's very chummy. I never do it. Is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity. Coveting thy neighbor is only human, after all. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go get some junk here. Actually, screw this. I'm not gonna go this way. We're going, man. Anything that you can see, you can go to. All right. So now we're finally going to start getting to one of my favorite things ever. Okay. This game does something really fascinating. Okay. But the Zway, the Zway Hander? Is there a Zway Hander over there? You can run through the graveyard and get the Zway Hander? Where is, where is the Zway Hander? Suicide run, though. Your German is cute. I'm sorry. No, forget about it. I'm not doing that nonsense. Okay, so so here, here's one of the first things that I want to talk about in terms of level design that I really appreciate so much is that this level feels so gnarled and twisty and complicated. 
but it isn't. It's going to rely on this consistent technique of looping back and reconnecting. And it's very satisfying to have reconnect points revealed to you. It's also going to do the second technique of showing you something that you want to help give you a little guidance in terms of exploration. You always see the door that you want to open before you have the key, proverbially speaking. Drake Sword is for casuals. Oh my god. Tell me about it. Oh, yeah. Here's two little dudes on the side. Alright, he's dropping down. Go kill this guy up here. Actually, I'm gonna run this way. Come on! I'm scared to be jumping here, man. Die. This moveset is really weird. I'm not used to it. Hollow Warrior Armor. I'm just so much better at this game than the first time I played. I died like hundreds of times just trying to get up here. Oh, for God's sake, hit him. Alright, now that he's gone, I'm gonna go back down here. s stock allows you to attack with your shield up. Oh! Oh! Holy cow. Alright, are we gonna be able to make this jump? Of course we are. We're day nine. Here. Can I? Can I actually fit around these edges? That's right. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Easy game, easy life. Of course. Of course, of course, of course. No problem. No problem. Ring of Sacrifice. What does this do? Not using that. I will die. I will die when I'm accidentally doing this. Woohoo! Now that is a surprisingly difficult jump to make. I have thrown myself to my death so many times. Not reading item flavor text? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me, let's, re let's read the flavor text. The mystical ring was created in a sacrificial rite of Velka, the goddess of sin. Its wearer will lose nothing upon death, but the ring itself breaks. Flavor text is everywhere if you want it, but you don't gotta do it. Where the hell is my opponent? There, There's the camera angles that I know Dark Souls for. Yeah, keep your shield up. Lemeo, 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 get rolled. Hello. Thanks for your soul. There's that bonfire. God, it's so beautiful. God, I'm so beautiful. I'm Ryan Reynolds in this game. Hello. Hello. Go ahead and take the soul of a lost undead. There's something that I really like about... Um, again, talking about in terms of the themes of resonance and growth and that sort of thing. Um, the souls, as... I'm sure a lot of you know, but for those who don't, the souls, the 777 right here, this is this is my resource for leveling up. When I go to a bonfire, I spend it in order to become more powerful. And if I die, the souls drop where I died. So I have to get back to there to pick my souls up. If I die before retrieving my souls, they're gone forever. And the expectation is that you die a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um... So this is one of the ways that gives the game a sense of progression. If you keep getting back to where you were, getting back to where you were, you're still gaining more souls, even if you aren't physically moving forward over the course of the game. I think it's, like, really, really important. Um, just to make sure that you don't feel like you're just treading water all the time. And in terms of the consistency with the feel of the game, the feeling is you need to get better at this game in order to advance. You need to get better. So the leveling system is not, like, exponential growth. As, you know, a Final Fantasy game that I played when I was a kid, you know, where it's like, you start with 14 health, and by the end you have 9,999 health, and you deal 10 billion damage. 
you know, where you're thousands of percents more powerful. In this game, you're like two and a half or three times as powerful at the end of the game. And I think that's important, because if the leveling was too strong, then all of a sudden the game would turn into, oh yeah, I just... Oops, the guy's back here, messed up. If you just did nothing but grind levels, then it would sort of defeat the purpose of... Oh, it would defeat the purpose of getting better at the game. Alright, so now we're going to get to Blight Town. Again, these tiny interwoven corridors, lots of verticality. It's hard to get a good bearing of where you are. Because there's just so much dimensionality. I keep forgetting that if I'm holding my shield up, I don't thrust. So here is this wall. This was the wall that I was looking at before. Um, we'll be able to... If we can peer over this wall, you'll see the... Um, the place where we were before. The Firelink Shrine. Now what's crazy is that all these places that you can go to... Or, you, you, all these places that you see, you can go to. In fact, right down there, in that path, this green area, is where we're going to find the Capra Demon later. And it just creates a really satisfying sense of understanding the space. I think I like this S-Doc moveset quite a bit. It's nice, this little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feels nice in the corridors, too. So, here's here's what I mean by the pleasure of relinking coming up, right? Like, when you look at this, there's this illusion that Zelda does in its dungeons that tries to make the dungeon feel like a really big, weird, interconnected space, when really, it's mostly linear. This it, Like, this area is mostly linear. Like, look, see, I, I come up from down here, Oh, I can actually make this jump to this wall here. I forgot about this. Get this thing. It's mostly linear, but then it has these very satisfying kind of roundabout things that you can wind up doing. They kind of make you feel like you're exploring and figuring out a space. And Zelda does this all the time. You'll enter into an area, and the main route... Like, look at this. Oh, th this feels like I'm exploring, right? This feels like I'm maybe going somewhere that I've never gone before. Or, let me rephrase that. This, this feels like exploring, because I remember... Remember how there's that path up there? And now I'm down here? It gives you a sense that the space is larger than it is. This is going to be... Oops, yeah, I forgot. This is... Again, it's going to just loop back. And it's... It's basically a tiny space that's linear with a few sort of detours on it. But I remember reading about that they did this in Half-Life, where if you encounter a fork, and you have to go... Well, you can't go down both ways at once, right? Unless you're a quantum player. But when you see a fork, your brain goes, I guess I'll go this way. And because you remember that there's that path that you didn't go down, the space feels massively bigger to you. Because you, you're, you're still curious, you're still curious, you're still curious. So Zelda does this all the times in its dungeons, where you get in, you go down this path. Oh, there's a locked door there. You come back, you go all the way to the end of this branch. Oh, there's a key! come all the way back up, go through this door. It's basically linear. But it creates the illusion that you're exploring a really massive space. Because, like, you know, if I go this way... Where am I in this space? I completely forgot. Ah, oh, yeah. Here's the bridge. Hello, guys. Hello, dudes. This s stock is ridiculously nice. Just kind of working my way back this way. Oh no! It looks like I... I think I actually did this in the wrong direction. I think what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to drop down here. Work your way back this way. Climb up this ladder. And then loop back this way. I think that that's, like, the intended direction. But I remember there being a side path here somewhere that I can still walk through, if I recall correctly. 
Where are you at, side path? Wasn't there a path right here? Yep, there it is. Aha! And again, like, this little white light, this little white light, it's, it, I just call it, like, a door, right? It creates, like, a little, a little weenie for you, and I'm like, what's the key? How do I get there? Oh no, how do I get up into here, huh? So, yeah. Did it in the reverse direction. Alright, come on, Sean. Let's keep going through this. All right, here we go. Because I remember when I was uh, when I was fiddling around trying to design uh, just levels for a project that I was working on. This this was really inspiring to me. See here here is the place that you can drop down. That's where I just was. You go all the way down there. You come all the way back up, climb up this area, and now you're back where you were again. See that? It's just really really. It's simple, right? It's just, it's it's a simple technique, and we're going to see it happen again here in a moment. Just, oh, I entered any white light. Let me hold my shield up. Okay, so, again, here's a branch. I can go this way. I can go this way. Whoa, what's... Can I actually make this jump? I'm 99% certain I can. I'm gonna try that a few times. I think I think that I'm doing it in the wrong place. But again, this is this is what I mean by like the huh, what's that over there? How do I get there? So I'm gonna go up. And I'm gonna be shot at the barracks. Again, huge holy what the hell moments. And then it's like, oh, I see a ladder. Okay. Okay, so let's remember that place that I was at before. Because, again, the undead berg is basically... Oh, yeah, I don't thrust unless I'm not holding my shield up. Oh, oh, didn't see him. Go ahead and take a drink. Hey, Ghost Who Dreams. What a thrill, what a delight. I'm gonna take this dude out. Oh! <laughs> that startled me when he didn't die. It's like, ah. So I, I want to talk briefly about the illusion of complex spaces. Because this, I mean, the, the one of the big tricks this game does is when you have a 2D space, like take for instance Hollow Knight, you have to kind of go a long way around and go through an area and then link back on because you only have this plane, right? You're on, a, you're on a flat area. But if you use verticality, you can do really simple, oh yeah, you just jut up and then out through the Z plane and then come back up from the other side. And it makes it a little harder to track just as a person because you generally don't do this much vertical movement as a person. Um, and these spaces look really gnarled and complex, but um, again, it's it's just this illusion created from having a lot of branches. We're going to see how simple it is in a moment, but like, I'm here, I see the stairwell up, I see this door, I see this path to the right, I'm remembering that there is this weird path over there, I mean, how does this all link together? We're going to see it's actually kind of a short path. Alright. My kick is not working. Is it tap? Uh, no. What is that move? Holy cow. I bought my longsword in. How do I do the kick? Oh, there we go. Can I do that with this? No. Woo! Ugh. 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 Oh, oh, you're... 
you're alive! How are you alive? He needed one more damage. All right, taking a drink. All right, here we go. First of all, I adore that it's like, this is the joy of Dark Souls, I feel like, is if you look at something like Bioshock Infinite, it does these really huge, large scale, epic reveals. But in this game, often there's, oh, hi. There's often just like a simple door, and on the other side is an entirely new zone you've never seen before. So, oh, which dish way? Oh, look. Right back to where I started. Remember that ladder we were all curious about? Switching out to this one. I think this is like one of the most satisfying feelings that happens non-stop in this game. Non-stop. You just get back to a place that you were once, and you're like, oh. Yeah, look, there's where I came from. Oh my gosh, look at that, right? You're starting to just understand the space. Oh, crap. I did it. Ugh. Ugh. Get out the S-Doc. Destroy every barrel. There is no escape. Little weird wily paths. Oh, there it is. There we are. Oh, light crossbow standard bolt. Imminent gorgeous view. Sick. This game runs so smoothly. Beware of invasions. Someone should invade. Avoid picking up weapons. Yeah, I just. I don't want to ever be part of that. I am not interested in the Dark Souls multiplayer today. At all. And then look, oh my gosh, I'm back here again, and hey, that's where I was. This is this is not a super... I, I'm going to... i got to be careful with this. Um, this is not hard to do in terms of level design, to just put these sort of relinks in. It's the consciousness and commitment to do this that I think is what makes Dark Souls so awesome. Like, you can just make gnarled paths that do this sort of thing. And there's all little interesting branches to explore. There's the there's the salesman down here. Hello! Well, now, you seem to have your wits about you, hmm? Yeah, well. Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. Mm hmm <laughs> uh. All right, what do we want? Prevents SS recovery within limited area. No. Do I do I need any of this? Uh, I definitely want this. All right. I'm using a controller. I'm just using an Xbox 360 controller. Let's just get them. Yeah. I'll just take one. I don't need tons. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. All right. And this is, this is the explorer's delight. I only have two more paths to go down. This door, where doth it lead? Excuse me, body. Ah. What are the stats on the wooden shield? Uh, let's see here. What is my equipment load? 24.4 out of 52. Okay. And a wooden shield. I think the heater shield is just so good. Alright. It's a good day to save, huh? Alright. Can't even level up. Actually, let's just let's just eat some souls. Uh Oh, that's a nice feature. Soul of a nameless soldier whose item. Screw it, let's see. 
really want to get the bottomless box from the merch room. What does the bottomless box do? I've never, I've never even picked up the bottomless box. Let's go ahead and level up. It's a good day to deal damage. I just level these two up, essentially evenly. I just do like a real well, well, well rounded. Anyways, so now for one of my all-time favorite things about Dark Souls. Every time you save, all the enemies come back. So good. So good. So sweet. Come on. Well, I was item storage bonfires. Ah, whatever. And I just want to note, um, there is this great video that I watched in the analysis of Dark Souls. Uh, about accordion-like design, where you kind of start at a small area, and then it accordions out into all these possibilities, and then shrinks back down again. This is this point right here. You'll note that all this area back here, we've explored all the, the interwinding, interweaving areas, and then it collapses down to this choke point. Oops. I did not roll fast enough. Oh shit, he's charging me. I'm gonna die. I always found this room to be real hard. Let's see if I can get a flask sipping. Oh, out of stamina. Ugh. No deaths yet, man. Does not open from this side. And I, I think that this game does a beautiful job of this, right? You've heard me talk about this idea of little weenies, little desirable things. Ooh, there's a shiny white light. What item is that? But how do I, how do I get there? How do I get there? Um, and then you can complete that very satisfying loop of, how do I get, wow, well, what? It poses questions for you. This door poses a question. Does not open from this side. When we were in the aqueduct earlier in the game, there was another one of those. Where's the guy that pops out? I think he's in here. I've died so many times here, I just remember these. It's a mimic. Black firebomb. I'll try to be the most possible and actually use those. God, in a game I just hate housing equipment. White weenies, best weenies. Oh, dude, I, I'm going to play Magic the Gathering this weekend, man. That's what I'm going to do. Up. That's this is amazing. Easy peasy. And again, there's these just little gnarled, twisted. They're just detours. They're not complicated, but it's just so satisfying to not have a clearly linear path. And the fact that like Oh shit. I was very close. I almost, I almost took a dive. See, I, I just find so much satisfaction looking there and going, "Oh, this is, this is." I just walked under this area. Use that residence key, man. That sweet, sweet residence key. 
feel like there's a dude somewhere in here. That's what happens whenever I roll at my own home. Yeah, give me that pine resin, baby. Mmm, this pine resin. This game is so great. This is the greatest game. Oh, look. He finally, finally bit the dust. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna switch to my longsword so I can get my kick skill. Ugh. Oh, yeah. There's the archer who's above behind me. Oh my gosh, I'm actually using, like, two weapons? I might be the best Dark Souls player that has ever lived. Hit him with that R2. Going back down. This game does not shy away from tight corners, man, let me tell you. Alright, now that... I remember this being tricky in this area. It took me a long time to even notice this. This is, again, one of these small detours. This is where we die, huh? I'm topping off, man. Hello. doing this. We're, we're killing this night. This range on this S-Dock, I'm not used to having such a long-range weapon. I'm like, I'm like a sword wielder all the time. Man. Woo! Two. Thrust, and then he's gonna whack. Four. Come here, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Ugh. Stabby stab, stab. Oh, shoot. We're gonna do this 12 damage at a time. I only want to hit him after his four slash move. There's stab and then his whack. One, two, one. Black retreat. Oh. Having a drink. Fuck. I'm really glad this knight revealed to me that I forgot to get a pick up there. <laughs> Having a drink, and then he's gonna run at me. Ah! I know my knights. Whack roll. I have to be responding after he does some more of these attacks. Whack, stab, so I can hit him twice. One, two. And then he's gonna... Oh, I just shouldn't have done that. I just shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, he's at... He's at, like, half health. Stab, and then... Stab and then whack. Yeah, jump back. We're doing this 12 health at a time. I am so dialed in right now. I am the game. Oh. I am Dark Souls. I literally, I'm like just lines of code. I'm in the Matrix. He can't touch me. We don't get eager. We don't get excited. We don't go for third wax. We don't go for third wax. Oh, how is that not a backstab? It, it, is backstab the, the bumper or the big button? It's 
bumper? Come here. Oh! You know, I realize now this is why I've never been able to execute a backstab. Hello! Hello! Oh! Oh! Alright. Hold on, we're, we're gonna... Oh! Ah! Uh, oh! Uh, die! Get him! Oh, that does 116 damage. Hey, Lameo. Do, 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 do. Don't make me Lameo too long. Too long. Come on. There she blows. Damn, that fire looks good. Oh. Come here, jerk. I don't remember what this is down here. Whether it's like a ring or a jewel or some such thing. I did it. Nice. And what does the blue tear stone ring even do? Hmm. Oh, ho, ho. Give me them def ups. I love def ups. Def ups. Is there anything out this way? I think I fell for this. I think I literally just walked to my death one time. I was like, oh, it's like Indiana Jones. I'm going to throw the sand out. And then I can walk across it. And then I just died. <laughs> and then I died so deftly. Deftfully, deftfully. 10 out of 10 message. Would touch the blood stain again. Alright. There's a critical part coming up here. Wait, this is... It's locked. I don't remember where that leads to. Does that lead to the depths? Alright, we're gonna have some fun reconnecting pleasures. Where is it? There's a little, there's a little dude. It's a little bug bugger. Where is he? Oh, what? There it goes! Ah! Ah! Get this out! Crap! Whew! We got it. Stab! Stab! Stabby stab stab! Listen, that's that's your treasure goblin, man. All the boxes down. Ugh. So let's see traverse the white light, but I've not been one to do that. Alright, let's appreciate some level design here, huh? Let's appreciate this. First of all, we Alright, because I'm a smart boy. I remember how this game works. I'm gonna go up this way. without fear of recourse. Oh, except my stamina's low. Ugh. Ugh. So let's appreciate this. So, uh, first of all, if you've never played Dark Souls, that's where we're, we're going to. We're going, uh, we're going to be going across this bridge here in a moment. But, if we look out the other way, where is it? Okay, so there's, this is I think that's Deep Root Garden or Deep Root Basin down there somewhere. I know you can see it from here. I just don't quite recognize it. Okay. There we go. See, remember remember that area we just were? Remember where the Black Knight was? See, there is the pit where I fought. You can see the tip of my sword. I want everyone to look at just the tip. Um, the shrine is like back this way. It's just amazing. It's amazingly self-referential. Not self-referential, that's, that's the wrong word. 
um, interconnected and intertwined. It's so satisfying to look. And if I if I could destroy this bridge and look down right now, I'd be able to see the Firelink Shrine. There's Sen's Fortress. I can see it right there. It's so cool. All right. Uh. All right, let's fight a boss. I should be able to one-shot this boy. Come on! It sounds like a fake sound effect. Yeah, it's that attack that just deals like a billion damage. Range on the S-Stock is really nice. I can't believe that hits him. That's so far. Alright. After his next attack, I'm gonna drink an Estus Flax. Gloop. I glooped it so hard. right time. Didn't do it. I want to see how much damage the short sword does. I like short sorting. Oh my god, I'm a very lucky boy. Remember how I said that did a lot of damage? Well, it did. So it deals 39 damage. Oh. Went back to my place and 39. I've been having back problems all day. so bad at the timing of that. If he does that, I just need to get the hell away. Alright, we might actually die to this guy. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna short sword this guy to death. I think it is a long sword that I have. I was actually starting off fine. I just need to continue to just... Alright, well, it's fine. We got, we got a little rust we gotta work off. A little rust, got a little rust. What I need to do is I need to just uh, stand behind him. Oh, who's this guy from behind? What is this? Oh shit, I'm gonna die here. Get the hell out of here, man. Woo! I don't know where that guy came from. Oh god, I don't thrust when I want to thrust. I just can't thrust you anymore. I don't want to go back to the bonfire. Blood. Blood. I'm having two swigs, man. I'm feeling thirsty. I'm feeling thirsty today. That's so funny to me, like, that I can pretty much get to the other bonfire without dying. And then, you know, I just had my first death, the Taurus Demon. Basically because I was 
try to experiment with different weapons. I shouldn't have done that. I should have been more bold my positioning. Hello. I'll throw some fire bombs on that guy next time. Let me get my short sword out so I can get my kick in there. Oh, crap. Three of you, huh? Oh, what the shit? <laughs> I thought that they didn't chase me. He's gonna so drink his Estus Blast. God, my range is, like, ridiculous with this s -dog. Oh, gosh, I keep forgetting that you can't... You can't kick unless you have this sword out. Kick is so nice for disabling. Maybe I should just kick the Taurus Demon. Maybe that's the key. Go ahead and drink one of these. It's so... It, is, isn't it hilarious how many times I died? Just getting through here the first time. Oh. Bye. <laughs> it's like, it wasn't hilarious, Sean. It was so painful. What did that say? Does that, what? It just said, like, disasters, disasters, grave load, what the what? What the what? There's my souls. There's my souls. so cool. I don't, like, I actually don't understand the covenants. Try plunging attack? Nah, I'm not gonna do any of that nonsense, man. I'm just gonna stab him like a man. Real men stab. <laughs> I was like, hey, why didn't children watch this, huh? I actually have a lot better time against some bosses if I am not on lock. Now he's gonna charge at me. Ugh. Ugh. What? Right time, I didn't. It was bad. I think I just need to get the hell away from him. I'm boring, man. I'm gonna be a boring man. Almost just jumped right off the cliff. That's so funny. Oh, it's like a shockwave gets me. Okay, I see. I think I can actually just stand right up in front of him with some of these. Yeah. Look at me, nice and boring. Why am I not doing my heavy attack? I don't know. Let's find out. Stab! What? I guess that's why it just never hits, man. I think I've, I think I've broken the man. Bring it on. This is such a baby fight. How did I die to this guy? Walk up, hit, walk back, hit, and I was gonna charge you. Oh, swing sideways, I'm Astaroth! No, you're not. If you were, you'd be using largely kick-based attacks. Uh-oh. 
Too good. Too good. Look at this. Such a joke. It is such a joke. Uh oh. Good thing I was holding my shield up. That animation is so subtle. He's about to just. Oh crap. If I was in range, I would have just... I would have cried. Ah, I'm so bad at dodging that attack. Get up! Get up! Get up, Sean! I'm real bad at dodging that attack, then. See, that's what I should be doing. I should be running at him sometimes. Not now. Not now. Uh oh. Alright, that was at least good. I just held my shield the whole time. It's the first time he's done that attack. So I actually can just hold my shield when he's. Uh oh. I'm this close to him. Yeah, I thought that that actually broke through my shield. Alright, so I'm on the other side now. Alright, so I think we just got him. So we walk towards him with this attack. Maybe not. So I'm just trying to keep my stamina full. Because then if he hits me, he only eats through the stamina. I never like fighting in these cramped quarters, though. I'm just relying heavily on my shields and not on my rolling. And I like to be a rolling. <gasps> Alright, I gotta start getting more hits in. very careful not to use run to conserve my stamina. Oh, that hits me? Crap. I thought that if I was enough to the left of him, it would be okay. I died this Taurus demon. Two more hits, right? Big jump attack. No, I go up and I go whack, whack. What a joke. What a joke this game is. Whew. Ah, give me that sweet homeward bone. Do I get no souls? Do I get no souls for this? Ah, yes. Got 3k souls. I looked, I looked at my souls before the souls arrived to me, and I was like, oh my god, this is so bad. Yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Destroy every barrel. This is how we take out the anxiety. The tension. Dana, so 601 says you took 17 sips of Essence and one death to beat the Taurus Demon. Can we get a death counter going here today? Can we get some deaths? Some deaths to the depths. Look at that glow. Every nook, every cranny shall be explored. Are there any more there? I don't think there's any more other lost souls. Death count one. Thanks, guys. All right. So for any of you who are a big fan of the holy shit moments, we got a couple coming up. Look at this thing of beauty. Let's talk to this guy. I think I attacked this guy the first time ah, I saw him. Hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am Praise undead, the sun. I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. So good, Do so you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> what a weird way of conversation. Oh, aha. 
so I didn't scare oh, you. Uh -huh. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. I want to... Uh, sure. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows. Oh, and that really uh -huh. be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? No. Well, yeah. Getting out of here. All right, now... We spent some time focusing on the battles at hand, but we have to just appreciate some sweet levelage right here. Uh-oh. All right, so here's... For any of you who are unfamiliar with the whole holy cow moments... What? What? How does that hit me? How does that hit me? Come on! I was hiding! That's such garbage. There's a huge dragon on the bridge. Ah, that's such garbo. The death count is a 2, day 9 I don't want to hear none of it. I don't want to hear none of it. You all sound like Muppets. d Your kill count! Not as high as your death count, day 9 that's fine. I'm gonna cut his tail off and do the baby run, man. This guy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I'll just stibity stabity stab you. We will get no more than nine deaths this day. Hear you, me. This guy hiding around the corner, you're going down. Oh my gosh. It is so satisfying though, when you just get good at the combat. Because every time you die, you just start slamming through. But the game makes you respect it, you know. Ugh. Stab! Stab! <sighs> Gotta use the parry. I actually don't know how to parry me. I'm a bumper user. That's me. Get. Am I stuck? Good. Good. Oh, you serious? I can't believe that dragon burnt me up. Fjord bomb. What a holy cow moment. Dude, the first time I played this game, that dragon just annihilated me. Oh gosh, how do I always forget about this arrow? Up, on up, on up, on up. Bosses, yeah, bosses stay dead. They're one of the few ways in which you get meaningful forward progress in this game. Oops. Get your shield out of the way. Just gonna go ahead and drink up. Alright, now here's the thing. If you're tuning in right now and you're like, oh my god, Dana is so great, I just want to support his content with a subscription, don't yet. Don't yet. Because we got the gargoyles coming up. I don't think so. Not a chance. We got the gargoyle fight coming up. And if any of you have never seen the gargoyle fight, it's got some gargoyles right here, man. This is this is a significant fight. Cyrus One One says, "Uh oh, but I already sub." No, no disrespect to any current subscribers. Simius, thank you for the sub. Cyrus One, thank you for the sub. You guys. You guys, are, you guys are great. But what we really want, we really want, we want to create the event. Oh, whoops, whoopsie, doopsie. Sean, stop talking and fight. Ooh. It's going to be so good. Do you have to kill the big one again? Nah. Wait, who, who here has never seen or played Dark Souls? Who's never seen or played Dark Souls? 
like literally know nothing. Watching this blind with me for the first time. Simeus is like me. Oh wow, no, you. This game is so great. If you sit down to play this game, you're gonna start to really feel just how difficult the combat is. <laughs> Quinlow says I have a few thousand hours between the three games. That doesn't count, right? Quinlow. My soul should be. Okay, we gotta be really careful because that dragon wakes up and he gets real mad. I'm taking out my short sword so I can kick it. I hear the dragon making noises, it's freaking me out! Come to me, baby. Uh-oh, I thought that my kick was gonna hit him. Get me out of here! Oh, come on. If I die here, I'm gonna be so sad! Sensitive combat, man. I'm telling you. Gotta get this bad boy over here. Actually, screw this. I don't know what I'm doing. Where's the fire breathing dragon when you need it, huh? It's supposed to breathe fire! Why is it not? Why is it not? I don't understand! Uh, what? If I die here, I'm so embarrassed. That's just a great idea, I'm thirsty. Ugh! Oh. Ugh! Oh. This dragon is gonna, he's gonna freak out at some point. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm drinking so much Estus right now. But, you know what? Screw it. Here's the cool part. You guys ready for the cool part? Look at this. Look at this. See here? It says kick ladder. Alright, you ready for the cool part? You ready for the cool part? You remember this? Do you remember this area? Remember this area? Remember this area where we were? Isn't that sick? This is the same bonfire that I just ran to. Let's level up, man. What increases my hit points? Of course. It's gonna increase my load level, my stamina a little bit, and uh, yeah, then let's just do. Alright, we're also going to... There's, there's real specific ways to, like, level yourself up and, like, be super powerful, and I just, like, really am irresponsible about doing that, like, ever. Vitality increases are for babies, dude. Oh. Damn, they really wanted to go on the fog effects hard on this game. Whoa! Whoa! So I'm gonna I'm gonna level up one more time, and I think that we're gonna go with the uh, I'm gonna go with the vitality. Don't care, don't care. We're gonna we're gonna get swole up. Beautiful ruins. Yes. Hey, peace out. Have a good night, Scourger Land. All right, we're we're gonna do we're gonna do some techniques here. Why didn't he do this before? And now we wait. See, I was just trying to get him to do that so many times before the dragon was sleeping on the job. Really like my shirt today. I really like this shirt a lot. It's a really cool shirt. Excuse me. What the? 
shit! What the f- He's supposed to stay on the ground! Ah! Oh! Why is- why, why? What's happening? Is this new? Is this new? Is this new in the remaster? Are we serious? Oh my god, I've never seen the dragon do that before! Normally what he does is he just comes down and land and then you eat its tail. No, he did that in the original. What? I did not even know that. This is normal? This is not normal. None of this is normal. How can you say that? The good news is that we are right by our bonfire, so we're just gonna get there. Ah, it's so hot! I can see my souls, they're right around the corner. Ah. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for him. I'm gonna wait for him to land. We're gonna get this sword, dude. We're gonna get this S word. This is gonna make life so much easier. It's gonna make life easier temporarily. Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! He's supposed to not move. He's supposed to stand still and let me whack at him. O10 General says, though in all seriousness, this is a wyvern, not a drake. That is true. That is true. That is true. It is a, it's a red wyvern with a drake tail. Getting our souls back. See, he's supposed to move out and then just stay there. He's supposed to just stay there. This has been the most dangerous ladder trip I've ever done. S just come on down. Come on down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, and that now I don't move. Why? Why? You're not supposed to do any of this. Ah. Uh. Oh god, it burns! It burns so much! I've never had this happen to me before! Okay, let me explain to you what's supposed to happen. He's supposed to just land on the ground, and then you know what I do? Then you know what I do? I go up to his tail and I cut it off. And then once I've cut off his tail, he drops a sword. I've never even seen this today. We're not gonna- look, d deducting dragon deaths. We're not going to go more than nine deaths today. Why is this dragon so active? Very well. Hello. Oh! What did I do? Did I parry? Oh no! Well, whatever. Parried him, huh? Get off. Woo! All right, we're just literally avoiding this at all. We're going under the bridge. Hello, hello. This guy poisons me, I'm gonna be so sad. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I knew there was a third one in here. You can't hide from me. I'm so sad I don't get the Drake sword. Uh, no! Stab him! I'm I'm bummed, man. This is sad. This is a sad time for me. Shoot his tail off with the bow if you really want it. Yeah, maybe we do that. One dead perish. See, there's there's our dragon friend, and there's so cool they put a bonfire on the other side. Oh. Ugh. 
Now, what I can do is I can go up here, but this guy always kills me. I think I'll just upgrade this weapon that I have. Alright, let's get the boar. Oh shit, it's still charging. A lot of times I just run up on the high ground. Switching swords. Kicking out. That dragon is just... I am like totally PTSDing about this dragon, man. What an alarming ass dragon. Get out of here. Throw the fire bombas. Let me get my kick out. Gosh, dude. I died so many times here. Oh, God. Ugh. I always found that part to be really tough. Skull. All right, so let's let's do something that Day Nine does not do, huh? Oh, Cuddy, Cuddy. Okay, swung through it. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to change equipment. It's not letting me lock on. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool, I will admit. I'm just gonna fight him. I never really know how to use these bonus items. Come here. Yeah! Yeah! Well, don't I feel powerful, huh? Five damage! Holy crap. What about this attack? Seven damage! Alright, throw. Throw. Oh, crap, I'm out. Okay. Six damage. Oh Alright, we're gonna hit him in the butt. Oh, gross! Wow! Oh my- I would die if that happened to me. That was... <laughs> Whew. Alright, well... Fangbore Helm. Browsing these items. I've never gotten a Fangbore Helm. So if I equip this, I'll probably have to unequip this. And then my load is at 26. Oh, that's good. What? What? Oh my god, look at me! Look at me go! I've never gotten this. I have like a reaver on my head. I look ridiculous! This is the silliest thing. Look, and there's my face under there. My poor neck muscles. My poor little neck muscles. Alright, everyone, remember, remember this. Remember this, man. I look silly. Oh, let's get out of the... Hmm. I found it real easy to die in here when I first played Dark Souls, because I'm just being surrounded by stuff the entire time. Oh my goodness. Ah, ah. 
close to the bell tower. Roll through tables. Let's get this. The mystery key. I don't even remember what the mystery key opens. I think you let someone out of a cage up here somewhere, something like that. This is the most ridiculous helmet I've ever seen. I can't believe this. Alright, who thinks I'm gonna fall? Who thinks I'm gonna live? Large soul of a lost undead. Alright, let's center this camera. Yeah! Can't believe. That dude, he just... Oh my god, that was so gross. Just stuck it right in his pooper. Alright. Each of these areas has just been, like, so unique, and I appreciate this so much about this game. Each of these little segments, and once again, you'll recall this is where the little pig pig action happened. Right? Let's see. We... I just think this is the most satisfying thing. Look, that's where I once was. Oh, hi, Sheriff. Sheriff, this is a real... This is a bad time in my life. Oh, Sheriff? No, I know it's, it's a time, but I don't know if it is. Okay, you know, I can't pause. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, now you're happy. Now you're happy. Yeah, it's a happy little cat. Oh, it's a... Heard, I heard something. All right, Sheriff, come on up. Come on up, sweetheart. All right, come on up. That's such a good, sweet little thing. A lot of people have relationship goals, life goals. I know some of you now have cat goals. Get a cat like this little baby. Oh, dude, I love the fights with these dudes. Yep. Come on. Ooh. Oh, I don't have my short sword equipped anymore. We're just going to poke each other a little bit. Come on. Come on. Look. Whack me, huh? Whack me. What? Is that just his parry mode? Ow. Uh-oh. What? I died? Oh my god. I'm so upset. Sheriff can't even handle this right now. Death count six. This is embarrassing. I actually think the short sword deals a hell of a lot more damage. Oh good, we're here again. It's a good thing I have my silly boar head. See? This is why I need that Drake sword, man. Maybe I'll be a baby. I, w I just want to see if I can do this. Come on. Come on, bad person. What? You're, look at me. 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 Fall off. Down you go. Down the hatch. Okay, let's see how we do this, right? Because I've never used a bow and arrow before in this game. Because I know it's a baby maneuver for babies. But let's, let's bust it out. Let's do the light crossbow. How, how do you how do you even use this? Whatever. Okay, I think I'm gonna get. I think I'm just gonna just for a moment. Going long. Come here, little rat creatures. This 
is my most experienced item. Whackity, whackity, whack. Alright, so now we're going to climb up. Dan has quite the fashion sense. Thank you. It's 141. I'm probably going to take a little bit of an extended pseudo break where I'm just going to eat on air. Forgot about that one there. Good thing I have this giant boar's head on me. Yeah. See, I can't have both the long sword and the uh, other sword equipped at the same time because in this game, the more weight that you have in the uh, on your person, you can transition into slower move sets. Which would be bad. I can just bring you down here. You can come down here. You don't, do you? You're leashed. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Whoa! Whoa! Who's this guy? Whoa! Yeah, 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 dude. It's the confidence of having the short sword. Oops. These nerds are so done. So done. Uh oh. I walked all crossfire. Burr. I'm gonna go down to this little barracksy place. It's not gonna be an issue. Huh. Come on, guys. Look at him running. Oopsie doopsie. It's those little it's those little ninja guys. The one that I died to. I find them real hard to beat. Alright, just 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 have a drink, man. Just have a drink. Alright, they're coming out of the walls. See, I like how much damage I can deal with this short sword comparatively. Comparatively. Oh, I can one-shot him with my right trigger. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay. I look so ridiculous. I love it so much. I'm so pleased with myself right now. Artoria's great sword is where it's at. Yeah, see, I want to get a really good sword and just level it up like crazy. Okay, out we go. Hey, it's my souls back. Bring it on. 17, so much better than 12. He's stuck on the wall. Bring it! Uh oh. Nice dodge, nice dodge. Well done. I'm gonna kick you. What? Nothing happened? Whoa! Get me out of here. Ugh. Whack. Whack. Just swinging my sword. Willy-nilly like it's nothing. I don't think so, dude. That's how we do it. 200 souls. Pathetic. Knaeve shield. Uh, how good is this knight shield? I don't quite have... I don't quite have enough... Hmm. This medium metal shield is elegantly carved and painted, although it is thought to have been used by ancient knights and nobility. Its defense capabilities are similar to other shields. It's heavy, though. Sticking with the heater shield. 
Heater shield just seems really, really good. That's why I always start with the heater shield. That's why I picked this class right at the outset. Okay, so finally, 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 we're getting close to the gorgoyles. This is... Okay, so I've been playing now for... Let's say we, st we started at like 11.45, so I've been playing for about two hours thus far to get to... Oh yeah, right there. And like, this is as far as I got in a full day of Dark Souls 1, the first time I played. Like you appreciate that there's uh, there's the turret that I had climbed up earlier before I killed the gargoyle. I lo oh my gosh, this is so satisfying. This is marginally risky. I'm actually not going to go down this way yet. I'm just going to go to the bonfire. I died in this area so many times, like right here. What's that? What's that weird looking white thing? I'm gonna go back to that area in a second. I just wanna, just wanna save it. Just wanna save it. Missing the loot hurts so much that I, I don't think I missed anything. I don't think I missed nothing. You're saying loot the body, it'll disappear. I'm, I'm so confused. I 100% did. Because first of all, do I use this? Oh my god, I literally looked right at his body and did not see it. I literally looked specifically for this. Oh yeah, Titanite Shard, man, hell yeah. Missed a lot of loot so far, I don't think so. There's a few times when I kicked some bodies off the cliff, and there was a few times with the Dragon's Bridge I didn't go out because the dragon was gonna kill me. We did it, Reddit America, yes. Yes, we did it! Rah! Dude, I can't believe this boar dropped this. Smix is LeMay, I love the conflicting advice in chat. Good to see you, Smix. Did ourselves a little bit of weeping. Did ourselves a little bit of Dark Soulsing. Hey! Onion Man's down that way. Oh, yes. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hello. Well, you must be a new arrival. Yes. I'm on train of a stalk if you're a... Why, something speak to me. Do we just level up the S-Stock? I really like my longsword. I'll be seeing you then. Be careful. Be careful out there. 